here today, buddy Dan, and his beautiful car. What do you got today, Dan? Uh, I have a 1970 Plymouth Cuda. It's uh, completely stock, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's completely stock. It was actually um, manufactured in the LA plant. It was originally a 318 car, um, so technically it's a Barracuda. Um, was, and it a, was it a manual car originally? No, it was actually uh, automatic. Um, so it came with a 318 automatic, um, bone stock, 14 inch rally tires and wheels. Um, and then when I bought it uh, a few years ago, the previous owner, he actually uh, restored it, put the paint job on it and put the stripes on it. Um, but it still had um, stock wheels, uh, rally wheels, but he did put in a three, uh, 340 six barrel. So it kind of went with more of the AAR theme. Okay. At least. Uh, um, but basically the, the Barracuda was bare bones, then the Cuda was like the performance type uh, yeah. package, and then they had the Grand Coupe, uh, which was like a more luxury package. Okay. So so your car is far from any of those. Yes. These are definitely not 14s. Uh, definitely not 14s anymore. What are they now? Um, so these are 18s uh, on the front, they're 18 eighths, and on the back they're uh, 18 nine and a halfs. So yeah, we did that um, just to get a little bit more traction okay. um, and a little bit more of a resto mod, road race type now, look. Now, those big wheels, you should be able to fit pretty big brakes, right? Yeah, exactly. So that was another side benefit is um, if you're going to go fast, you have to stop fast as well. It helps. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to. Right, right. Well, you can change. <laughs> right. um, so I did, I was able to fit um, big wheel woods on the front with six piston calipers. Um, and then I did four pistons on the back. Nice. Um, but so it's got disc brakes all the way around. So it stops probably better than a lot of new cars. Yeah, it'll put you through the window. <laughs> <laughs> you believe it. Yeah. Okay, so we got wheels, tires, brakes. Right. Yes. What's in there? What? So what I it was really difficult to keep the 340 tuned with those six well, barrels. Yeah. While it had the wow factor, you raise the hood. Hey, how many people see a 346 barrel? Yeah. Not very many. Um, it just wasn't quite there. Not fast yeah, enough can, for me. You can, can't drive it all the time. It's, exactly. You're, you're tinkering with it more than you're enjoying it. Very much so. So last year, Mopar announced the 392 crate engine um, with the, the whole package. So you get the wire harness and all of the, the front. ECU and the pedal and everything. Everything. Right? everything. Okay. So I went that direction. Um, and so we, we did the swap in five days. It is plug and play. I'm not going to say it was easy. By any stretch of the means, you still have to do some fabrication yeah. and cutting on the firewall. So if you have a number of matching, one of whatever, <laughs> I would not touch that car. Yeah. <laughs> this car, by the you know, by all means, you know, have at it. So, so it's a it's a 392 crate motor, right? It is. So that's you you took the original AAR badge style for the Cuda, and you made a custom sticker. Yeah. So what I wanted to do was have some type of a call out. Um, without getting obnoxious and yeah. putting you know an entire billboard down the yeah, side yeah. of it. So I had the AAR shield um, that basically had the stars with the with the letters AAR. Um, and with the help of a forum that I'm on, uh, a couple guys had this idea and we kind of drew it up and played with it. And then I had a local shop just come out and trace it, and then they they put in the font and everything. Nice. So it's kind of a nice call out. Uh, and then the, the rest of the stripe is basically a, a normal AAR Cuda stripe, right? Uh, other than that's white. So on the stock was black. Oh, okay. And so the white, I liked it because it pops off the yeah. blue a little bit better. It looks great. Um, so then I also uh, wanted to, the car to handle well. So along with the bigger you know, tires, the wider tires, um, it has the traction, um, but still had a lot of body roll. So I, I put on subframe connectors, which was best bang for your buck, yeah. right? Not that expensive, and you can just put them in. Um, and it, it just makes the car much more solid and the doors fit better and the glass fits better. So nice. overall great. These are unibody cars. So they there's, are, no, right. there's no frame running the whole nope. length to keep it all straight. No, nope. but I did that. Um, I put on bigger torsion bars. So these are torsion bar cars, not springs in the front. Okay. Um, so I put on bigger torsion bars so they have a much greater uh, spring rate and that definitely stiffened it up. And then I added a big front sway bar, anti-sway bar, and a rear anti-sway bar, and that even yeah. more. So you're not you're not oversteering, understeering in the back. Yeah. Um, Keeps and it just Oh yeah. And so this thing really um, handles well, handles really well. Nice. Um, um, and then the last thing that I did, I so when I did the 392 swap, I kind of was running out of money. 
So I had to keep the 727 automatic and just convert it to a manual valve body. Okay. So you could run it. You could run the, the uh, drive-by wire pedal. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you can't. Oh. Um, well, you, you can hook up a cable, but I didn't want to do that. Yeah. So this spring, I saved up and converted this to a four-speed. Which by far changed the car completely. Yeah, yeah. The fun factor went way up. Yeah. All right, let's go totally crazy and let's do a NASCAR style exhaust. So I found this company online called Dr. Gas Boom Tube. Okay. And he makes these side exhausts. That whole um, tip? Yeah, so that is actually the tip and the muffler in one. And I use the word muffler like loosely because basically it's just some baffling it's like, it's kind of built like a screen it, exactly and i also went with an h pipe with the 392 um i have the uh ancient 78s headers um and then it goes down to a three inch collector and it runs three inch pipe oh, very okay. short yeah. <laughs> to those um and it's it's pretty loud um and it, it has the tendency to set off car alarms <laughs> So I did, I had a dynode um, when I still had the 727 in it. So automatic. It came in right under 400 on the torque, 400 foot pounds, and then horsepower was 365. Nice. Um, it's pretty much done. The only thing is I wanted to um, upgrade the radio and the, the sound <laughs> system because I can't hear it now. <laughs> yeah, so some Leonard Skinner or something? Put, put some Skinner <laughs> on, put some stones on. That's there awesome. Go. So yeah. Well, other than that, it's, yeah, other than that, it's pretty much done. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. I put out a new video every Wednesday at about 5 o'clock p.m. So stay tuned, uh, enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Awesome.